Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you how I personally do my eyes and hopefully maybe you'll enjoy it and learn something from it and maybe incorporate it into your own eyes or just copy mine. It doesn't really matter to me as long as you're having fun. So we start out with the guidelines here and what I'm drawing on the side here is the flat part of the head. It's really good to have the flat part of the head whenever you first start out because it'll help you place your eyes much more easy. So you can see right here, I'm writing that this is the flat part of the head. Very important, definitely need that. So we start out with by sketching the eye. You should never just go in and draw your eye right away because you might have to resize it or figure out where it goes. The main point is, especially whenever you draw these corners here, is to really make sure it's positioned correct. And I find the curve of the eyelash is actually kind of difficult to get right. So it's very important that you uh, start with your guides and figure out where everything's placed. Now I show the uh, red line here, which basically points that the curve of the eyelash points towards the mouth. This is very important if you want it to kind of get that very pretty look with the eyes. It makes it look much more symmetrical. I tend to never get the eye size correct on the first go round. It's kind of an issue actually, and I'm trying to figure out how to fix it. Uh, I have the guides once again showing that uh, they both point to the mouth. That's very important. Also, when spacing the eyes apart, it's good to remember that the eyes are usually one eye length apart, and knowing that will make everything look much more symmetrical. I went ahead and did some hair for this. That way I could kind of explain how I get the um, eyes going with the hair. Cause that can be tricky at times, but I think through showing this, I might remove some of the mystery behind it, if that makes any sense. Now I'm going ahead and adding the line art just to make it look much cleaner. It's actually kind of important to make sure it looks much cleaner, in my personal opinion. I don't know why I thickened up the chin. Not really necessary and I end up erasing it later because I think it personally looks kind of bad. Uh, the point mixed with the curve is kind of awkward. Yeah, there's the erase. So now we're getting into the detail of the eye. Whenever I draw eyelashes, I used to go thick, but now I'm trying out going kind of thinner on the eyelashes. Um, it's turning out nice so far, but we'll see how it ends in the beginning. I add a little extra um, lash toward the end of these just to kind of make it look nicer. And I also add white highlights in it just to kind of make it pop a bit more. also kind of add an implication of uh, parts of the eyelash bending into each other using the eraser tool. That's what those little white lines are. It, it just kind of adds more depth and it's really nice to look at in my personal opinion. I add the bottom lashes. I, I used to not do this, but every now and then I kind of came back to doing it. I also add the uh, red or kind of like peach color to the uh, ends of the eyelashes to make them kind of look like they blend in the skin more. This is important whenever you're finishing your artwork, but I'm going ahead and doing it early in this artwork just to kind of make it look nice.
Apparently I took a break here, geez. Uh, I tend to rename and restructure the files and kind of organize them in a way that makes more sense to me. Um, I decided on blue eyes this time, which is uh, always fun, because blue eyes are pretty. Also, don't worry if the color isn't right on the first go. Um, you, you can get it later, like I do here. I then take the time to blur the edges to kind of give them a soft look. I then add probably the darkest highlight first, personally. I kind of blur the top a little bit, that way it kind of softens it, but add a hard edge to the right. I then add a little bit of kind of an implication of the, uh, I'm not sure what the word is, kind of the Irish, but I don't know, I kind of put the color there. I, I mess up a bit on the left, then add a softer color underneath it, in between the layers of the base and the darker part. That way you get kind of this, uh, hard gradient. I then add the uh, highlights. Not necessarily the highlights, they're, they're more of the, the uh, softer color in the eye. But you can have that color be anything as long as it fits the color scheme. I was trying to figure out whether or not to put it on a screen mode, but I ended up deciding against it personally. I then add just pretty much a jet black here because it really adds hard contrast to it. I then add the light, which this time I chose to be kind of a cross or a plus shape just because I wanted to see how it looked. And it didn't look too bad. Uh, I wish I would have chose a different shape in retrospect. And I also had to adjust the colors because yellow just didn't quite look right. Yeah, so I went for a blue, and then I set it to add glow. That way it kind of uh, blends into what's already there. Just a very hard light. I then add the uh, little blotches of color along. That kind of implies eyelash shadow whenever you do this. Um, so you can kind of go crazy right here. It's, it's not really like crazy. There are no rules whenever you draw those highlights. And then I add the droplet spray brush and add kind of a lighter color. That way it kind of gives a galaxy effect to the eyes. It's really nice. I then add the white to the eyes, which you should never go pure white. It should always be kind of an off blue or red. I then add the shadows to kind of match up with the iris itself. As you can see, I had to adjust a bit. I add a uh, add glow layer that way, and I set it to blue. That way it kind of um, looks like a shine in the middle of the eye. Now I add the highlights here. This time I'm actually adding the highlights. I also set um, an outline to it at kind of a bluish color and I adjust it to where it's just barely visible. And that makes it look much nicer. Um, the whites of the eyes end up being a bit too dark in my opinion whenever I did this. Also, I should probably mention the fact that I set an overlay layer on the eyes. I basically copied the entire thing by putting it in a folder, then increasing, then uh, extracting it as a whole, setting it to overlay, and then blending it into the original. I then adjust the whites by doing the same type of thing. And if I'm not making much sense, you can actually look at the layers and probably figure out what I'm doing. There we go. How the eyes look. I also then add kind of a shine up the top of the eye the eye that way it makes it look more round and glossy and then add a shadow underneath it just to kind of give it some depth and there we go so now we're going to kind of move on a bit to the hair that way we kind of get the uh, idea also 
I used the uh, liquify tool to kind of bend the shape a little bit better. This feature in Clipsito Paint is just crazy overpowered. Um, honestly, it kind of like breaks uh, drawing, but I like it because it mixes kind of drawing and sculpting together, which is like really cool. And it just, it's a good cheat, but don't rely on it too much. You'll start to um, not draw as good, I would say. Uh, basically, you know whenever you're doing digital too much, whenever you start drawing on paper, and you just can't do on paper what you can do on the computer. And some people may not see that as a bad thing, but I do because I try to go to conventions and do live commissions in front of people. So, and not being able to perform whenever you're in person kind of sucks. As you can see, I set the hair above the eye layer. That way I can just like kind of add the hair overlay on top of the eyes. I'm not quite satisfied with how the hair turned out in this tutorial, but because I was focusing on eyes, I didn't really worry about it too much. But yeah, I wasn't really satisfied with the hair I did here. It, it felt kind of lazy and um, not fully developed. I don't know what a good word for it is. It just, it didn't turn out great but I'll kind of live with it for now because the focus is the eyes and not so much the hair. I made this entire drawing in about an hour and five minutes, so it, it was definitely kind of rushed, but I definitely wanted to get just the eye portion of it out so people could learn from that. I probably could have took a bit more care, but oh well. Whoa, live and let live. That's not even the correct expression. I ended up not sticking with the um, blonde hair, even though I kind of like wanted to. It just uh, didn't look good with blending in with the eyes, so I kind of scrapped it and went with blue because it was easier. So what I did here was I erased the hair layer. That way you kind of have this uh, glow effect. The reason you need to do it this way, in my personal opinion, is if you ever do something for live 2D, um, doing it this way will help because when the hair sways, it still covers up the eye, but not fully. So that definitely helps. So now we have uh, me trying to draw on the eyebrows and I drew them in terribly. That left eyebrow, I don't know what it was doing. I had to adjust that thing like crazy. Yeah, there we go. There's me changing it to blue. I actually kind of wanted to go pink, but like I said, blue was just easier. So I started to add the, uh, the, the uh, shadows to the skin here. And I always have to, I always start darker than what I initially intend to do because I like erasing to get a nice blended effect. See, it's just, it's so much softer and I like that. I then add the blush, which is always a lot of fun, but I feel I don't really do it that well. I always add kind of a gradient to the hair before I start adding a lot of detail. I've really enjoyed kind of going with a cell shaded meets a uh, soft shading look recently, but I've been kind of going with a light shading. I've been trying to see how light of a shading I can get away with in my most recent artworks. Um, I still tend to overshade things and kind of 
overkill my artwork, so I'm trying to find a right balance right now. And that's my tutorial. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.